Martin, an elderly man who manages a bakery in a small French village, is introduced in the opening scene of the film. Seven years ago, Martin took over his father's bakery in this village and has been quietly running it ever since. Martin doesn't talk much, but one day when he was making bread, he got sidetracked and burned the loaf. When his wife asked him what was upsetting him, he confided that he was afraid Charlie might be suicidal, but she told him not to think about such things because a wise man never commits suicide. When Martin goes to check on Charlie, he finds him burning his wife Gemma's clothes. Later, when Charlie leaves, Martin finds Gemma's diary. We then see the flashback of the diary. When Charlie and Gemma move to the village to live a peaceful life, their neighbor Martin welcomed them. A few days later, Gemma visited Martin's bakery to buy bread. Later, while walking home, Martin ran into Gemma and showed her a beautiful garden that she loved. That night, Charlie came to Martin's house saying their electricity went out. Martin went to fix it and his wife joined them. Over cocktails, the two couples conversed, but Martin was solely interested in Gem. It took a few days for Gemma to return to the bakery. Martin questioned Gemma about her bread-making skills. When Gemma agrees, Martin leads her to the former bread-baking area in the rear room. While preparing the same bread, Martin inquires about Gemma's emotional state. In response, Gemma says she feels so calm, almost if she's practicing yoga. Gemma takes off her sweatshirt when Martin mentions that he practices yoga every morning because the room is quite warm. Martin can't help but stare at Gemma's physique thereafter. Gemma, her friend, and Martin's wife Charlie enjoy lunch at Martin's house. Later, when Gemma and her friend are at Gemma's house, the friend advises Gemma to take care of her body, Gemma agrees and starts exercising. The following day, we see Martin going about his business. On his way home, he runs into Gemma, whom he hasn't seen in days while buying bread. Examining the bite, Gemma yells out and seeks Martin for aid after being unexpectedly bitten by a worm in her back, causing her excruciating pain. After determining that she had been bitten by a dangerous insect, Martin tells Gemma that he must remove the poison from the wound. Gemma agrees, and Martin starts to do so. But just as he finishes, a youngster named Harp approaches them and asks what's going on. Before Martin can respond, Gemma passes out. Alarmed Harp and Martin rush her to the hospital, where the doctor administers an injection and reassures them that Gemma will be fine. Gemma rests her head on Martin's shoulder while walking home together, bringing him happiness while he begins to believe Gemma is growing fond of him. The next day when Gemma runs into Martin at the grocery store while looking for wine, he suggests his favorite bottle, which she purchases. Meanwhile, Martin notices Gemma heading to an unknown location on his way home after delivering bread. He sees her enter Harp's house alone, which worries him about why she went there alone. However, his assumptions prove incorrect when he notices a hickey on Gemma's neck over dinner. That evening, Martin is very angry and feels guilty for not being intimate with Gemma instead of Harp. He believes that if Gemma and Harp had not crossed paths that day, the encounter would not have occurred. The following day, Martin encounters Harp, who seems anxious. Martin asks the harpist what's bothering him as he approaches. Harp explains that he finds it difficult to focus on his academics. Later, Martin watches Gemma departing. Martin's hunch that Gemma is having an affair with the harp during this period is confirmed when he witnesses Gemma enjoying herself with the instrument at his house somewhere during the following several days. Martin's only thought is of Gemma. When a beaming Gemma pays Martin a visit at his bakery one day, she adds that Charlie has been gone for several days. Gemma buys bread but forgets one loaf, which Martin later delivers to Gemma's house, where he hears Gemma playing the harp inside. Martin peers through the glass to hear their talk. When Martin heard Gemma and Harp say I love you to each other, he became very upset. Later, when Gemma went to Harp's house, she unintentionally broke Harp's mother's priceless idol. Before leaving, Gemma promised to have the idol fixed. Harp then agreed that they should both travel to London. The following day, Gemma discovered a letter at her house. She went to Harp's house after reading it. Harp's mother had returned home and inquired about the idol because it was missing. 
Harp replied that the idol had scratches on it, so he had given it to their neighbor Charlie to fix. When Gemma received his message stating he was unable to travel to London with her upset, she was en route to meet Harp. Gemma sobbed as she returned home. When Harp's mother approached Charlie and requested the idol back, claiming that Harp had given it to him to fix, Charlie angrily denied ever receiving any idols to fix. Charlie asks Gemma about the idol one night after Harp's mother departed, but she won't tell him. We can see that Gemma wanted to tell Charlie about her affair, but she was unable to do so. Charlie probably sensed something was off because Gemma had been distant, so he went to London for a few days. While Charlie was gone, Gemma felt very alone. The following day, as Martin was leaving, he discovered Gemma's dog and brought it to her home. Gemma showed Martin a letter from her mother, asking about the idol she believed Charlie had. Gemma asked Martin to draft a response, but he said it would take a day or two. A few days later, Martin witnessed Gemma kissing her ex-boyfriend Patrick. Witnessing this, Martin felt shocked and concluded Gemma was a suspicious character. After realizing she was acting inappropriately, Gemma told Patrick that they would never get back together and that he should forget her because she still loved her husband Charlie. When Gemma got home, she called Charlie and declared her love for him, telling him she could not live without him. Charlie was moved and left right away to be with Gemma. Later, when Gemma spoke with Martin, she found out that a letter had been sent to him under the name Harp, not Martin. When she questioned Martin about this, Martin revealed that he had felt compelled to act independently out of concern for the situation. He admitted that he should not have lied to Gemma. After kissing Martin goodbye, Gemma was not upset that Martin realized his genuine intentions. When Martin went inside Charlie's house, he was shocked to find Gemma lying dead on the floor. The police were alerted and sent Gemma's body for an autopsy that same night. At Gemma's funeral the following day, Martin told Charlie what the doctor had said about the cause of death. Patrick had arrived at Gemma's house with the two of them alone. Charlie did return after that. Charlie later acknowledged that he believed he was to blame for Gemma's passing. He clarified that he had witnessed Patrick violently shoving Gemma from behind when he had first entered the home and realized that Patrick was imposing himself on Gemma. Charlie attempted to step in, but Patrick got in the way and they got into a physical altercation. Tragically, during their altercation, they neglected to notice that Gemma was choking on a piece of bread when Patrick approached her. The fight ended, and the scene changed to the present day, when Martin's son shows up to tell him that a Russian couple has moved into their neighborhood. Martin immediately goes to greet the new neighbors. Please subscribe for more movie.